Pastor Bob here once again from True Life Community. We have 51 weeks ahead of us. What are we going to do with them? It may mean that all the things we did last year need to be done again. We may have to take down Christmas lights and the tree and all the other decorations. There's possibly a new calendar to fill in, trips to plan, and maybe even a new job waiting. Since we're made in the image of God, it seems he enjoys new beginnings also because human beings recreate themselves in the millions of babies that are born every year. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. That's found in John chapter 1, verses 1, 2, and 3. Those verses tell us that when the creation of our world happened, Jesus was already existing with God in heaven, and Jesus was equal with God. The Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos wrote in the book of Revelation these words about our Lord as Creator. He says, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Revelation 4, verse 11. Jesus created all things for his own pleasure, and since we are created in his image, we get great pleasure in studying and exploring what he has created. We learn new things all the time, and we are amazed at what God has created for learning and for our enjoyment. My wife and I went to the Museum of Science and Nature in this last few days and learned things we never knew before. It convinced me that we should go there again this new year and learn some more. In a way, it's like beginning again. Sometimes we think we know all there is to know about certain subjects, and then a whole new world opens before us. I look forward to the new year ahead, and the places I will go, the people I will meet, the things I will learn, the new experiences I will enjoy. God bless your explorations also. Father, we just thank you for new beginnings. You give them to us every day, every time we ask forgiveness every moment. And I just thank you that every heartbeat means a new beginning. We thank you for all your blessings to us in Jesus' name. Amen.